Hello. Hello. I'm just realising I should totally have just recorded what this, what just happened. <laughs> Dang it! I always just think, no, no, no. This isn't relevant. This is corpse being stupid. Then you realise that's what I'm here for. Yeah, basically. Uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, no evil villain Disney songs today. No. Yeah. Uh, okay, so she's she's being stupid. Hey, the day at school. Blah, blah, blah. Convenience store work. And then, yeah. clue. Raging cool. clue. Got a raging clue. Yeah. And then yeah. just clue all day. And then clue, actually... sadness. Clue, sadness. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, I don't know, start buying drugs, I think. Um, uh, for any particular reason? Well, if you look at her morale, if we're going to keep on going... So we can buy some drugs to cheer her up. Yeah. You have okay. A Do you have a problem with this? <laughs> Jeez. I, I dread to think what kind of drugs these are, but well, okay. Well, they're in, they're in the... Um... Or let's have a really, uh, really expensive restaurant meal because we don't have to buy anything for anyone. Have it's... a great dinner. Yeah, because we can't buy anything relevant anymore. Nope, that's so right. So let's just put on, let's just eat massive piles of food instead to cheer ourselves up. That's pretty much how I live. Let's comfort eat, get drunk, and then take some pills. That's that, that's, <laughs> that seems perfect, for Nicole. Let's don't lie to me that you don't think that that's perfect. Um. Oh, so let's be honest. She'd end up buying Smarties. <laughs> She won't mean to. She just will. No. She'll be after ecstasy. Ecstasy. Is this, is this, that's the, that's Words? The e. Words? Okay. Ecstasy. Yeah. And then she'll get Smarties. Or Skittles. I, I they don't even be proper Smarties or Skittles. They'll be knockoff ones from the pan shop. Pretty much. Game will end on the 21st. Twenty- oh, hello. 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 It's the 1st hello. of December. The game will end on the 21st. Yay. Yay. <laughs> oh. Okay, then. <clears throat> this looks like it's a major episode. Ugh. Every time I enter our school's athletic area, I feel like a fish out of water. I'm okay with being outside, but I'm not exactly what you would call the athletic type. I'm Look, the type I'm, of girl... I'm being outside. Well, that's that's good. That's that's handy for day-to-day living, to be honest. Yeah, outside. Problem. Not being, not being a massive agrophobe. It's, it's um, kind of handy. Yeah. It's, yeah. I'm the type of girl who got all the physical education credits by easy elective courses. Yes. <laughs> yes. I don't know what that means. <laughs> yes. I well, I guess she did PE by taking I don't know uh, the girl that sits on the sidelines and hands out the water courses. Kind wow. Of. Or do you know in some places in the states you can do bowling for your physical for your like, PEs. Thing. Okay, what? Yeah. I hate bowling. I actually yeah. do. I genuinely hate going bowling. It's like the worst thing. <laughs> I really can't stand it. People go, yay, we won. I'm just like, you just threw a ball at a bunch of pins and they fell down. I mean, it'd be, it'd be kind of different if you're with a group of people who were competent at it. But when it's a bunch of people just going to a bowling alley, it's pretty much just down to chance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Any group of your friends, unless you actually have a bowling league, they don't fucking know what they're doing. No. They know f- what they're doing less than I know what I'm doing. And I know what I'm doing pretty much no percent of the time. Well, maybe less than one percent of the time. Seriously, but, to be honest, I'm terrible. If you do go to a bowling alley and you walk up and down um, repeatedly, then you will end up going a, uh, walking a mile in someone else's shoes. Uh, that was a terrible joke. That was like... Yeah. That was like epic <laughs> levels of bad. Uh, anyway, but hey, at least I learned how to swing a tennis racket. T- tennis is not easy. That's... Swinging a tennis racket is though. Swinging it and hitting the ball. Uh, true. Is difficult. Uh. And I got too close to winning a game one time against a bush. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a shrub growing in the middle of the tennis. Yeah. Court. Oh my god! You beat me again. It's just got a tennis racket wedged in it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. How does it serve better than she does? 
I mean, I used to play it when I was. I, I'm. I'm not. I'm not going to make a, 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 any bones about the fact that I was terrible at PE. <laughs> I sucked hardcore. Oh, yeah, I was in bottom set. We didn't have sets. We had mixed ability. But after after you took your um, options, for those of you who don't know, in year nine, which is about ninth grade, weird how that works. Um, you you get to choose what subjects you're going to do for your GCSE, which um, I don't know how to describe GCSEs. You know, yeah. you know how in America, um, your test grades are um, decided by your teachers. Well, we take tests that the government makes. So I say the government makes exam boards make. But anyway, yeah, they anyway, yeah, those tests are GCSEs. <laughs> And General Certificate of Secondary Education. education. That's what yeah. they're called. Um, I remember the thing. You did. Yay. It's a useless thing that will never come up again. Yep. But you remembered it. Um, yep. But yeah, the, the the exam board say, oh, we must know. The government say, they must know this. And the exam board goes, oh, we'll ask you questions on this. And we go, oh, fuck. Um, which is basically how we spend our lives. And... <laughs> Um, <laughs> after after year nine, you could just take general PE, which you have to take PE. But, yeah. but basically, general PE was um, playing rounders. That <laughs> <laughs> was basically it. It was just like, fuck it, let's have a game of rounders. Or as you guys know it, baseball. Well, it's not um, quite baseball. It's it was it's, very it was, close. Someone saw baseball and specifically designed a sport that required less running around. Yeah, it was a lot of standing around. And I'm not fact, kidding, was... that is actually how it came about. <laughs> I know. <laughs> there is a lot of standing around. It's just like, ah, fuck it. Oh, the ball's over there. Yeah, I'll see you in a week. Yeah. I'll get it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I will just sit here and twirl my hair for like five hours. That would be cool. <laughs> so just imagine you twirling your hair on your phone going, oh, like, OMG or something. <laughs> Didn't do that when I was a kid. <laughs> I was like, uh, cool, cool, mate, cool, mate. cool, 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 cool. Yeah, cool, totally cool 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 cool, cool. cool, cool, cool. Instead of a mobile phone, you just had a cup with a piece of string. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. It's true, <laughs> but fuck you. <laughs> yes, um, I didn't get my first mobile phone until I was 20. It's just true. Oh, it's in the 80s then. Got one of the first edition ones, did you? Till I was 20. Yeah. I was born in the 80s, you <laughs> I was literally born in 1980. <laughs> fuck you. And the horse you rode in on. And the man who wrote, made the saddle. And the little girl that gave it the apples. Fuck you. So and yeah. What you get up to on your weekends is, is up to you, really. You just... I just said, fuck you. No, we're not going there again. <laughs> I got asked... Um, You'd only just suggested you have sex with a horse. <laughs> yeah, true. But I, 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 I just... I, I've already had to deal with um, people on my server who just talked about you and me, and I'm just like, we're not dating. Oh, what did they say? It was. It, I can't remember it now, oh, but my, my reaction was just like... We're not dating! I'm, Ew! I'm actually, I'm actually slightly disappointed I haven't seen any terrible fan fictions. It's... This is not a request. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> there is to be no terrible fan fiction. I don't really care what the content is. Just, it's just, just, it's just... As long as it's really, really poorly written. That's the important part. <laughs> no paragraphs. <laughs> Barely any full stops. And if you're under 16, please do not say right, said Smut. Um, because that could get me in hot water and not the good kind. Anyway, I came here to write... It can't just be warm water rather than hot water. Shush. Hot water implies it's almost boiling, so it's unpleasant anyway. So it's always the bad kind, really. Unless you're trying to disinfect something, I guess. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm just trying to kill an irritating bug that won't leave me alone. Corpse. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I came here to ask around about Aaron Stevens Sverson. Sverson. I figured asking people on the track team would give me the best feel for the type of person she was. Well, you know that people have been disappearing and turning up a day late with their memories missing. Um, oh, I've recently been watching Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I'm just assuming that's happening now. Yep. The only problem is the track team isn't even in the season. 
I can't believe I didn't realize that. Apparently the track team doesn't officially start practicing until the end of the semester. So they'll be practicing unoffic unofficially though, because they're all part of the track team because they like running. Yes, that's you'd think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. Rather oh. than just stop and eat burgers for six months or whatever. Yeah. That was even on the website too. How could I have missed that? I mean, they don't start end of semester and it's December, so they'll start practicing just before Christmas. Mm-hmm. That seems like a terrible time to start practicing running. Yeah, they're not even in... I, I was just thinking, well, she's California, but she's not in California, is she? No, oh, she's in somewhere else, Phil. Somewhere else, Phil. I can't fill, remember. Fill in, fill in, fill in location here. I think she's in Made up in Made Uppington. Ah, uh, yes. and Made Uppington is English. Ah, uh, well, yeah, but the Americans just, you know... No, it's Made else Upsville. Up, so. it's, it's Made Upsville if it's in America. Upperton is made Upperton is definitely an English place name. <laughs> <laughs> Probably it, is now I've said that. <laughs> um, it's uh, part of the ancestral lands of the um, made Upperton Smythes. Um, oh, they're the traditional lords of the manor. Of course, they don't actually own the village anymore because you know, over time, the uh, lords have sold their lands and stuff because you know that's what happened. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But that's that's kind of where they get their family name from as well. I mean, um, uh, Maid Uppington Hall is still nearby, and it's still run by the family, but mainly as a tourist attraction, kind of open house sort of thing. They have some pretty good gardens, from what I understand. Yeah, and a lot of peacocks if you like peacocks. I don't particularly like peacocks because they're uh, yes, some shit. Yes, they hump but, you know. against your science room window. Um, uh, uh, here's Look here's at my a note. Massive feathers. Rah! <laughs> it's it's ba <laughs> basically they they. When I was at school, we ha used to keep peacocks on the on the school grounds, which basically shows you how English my school was. The school, not my school, the school I taught at. Every time, every time she opened the door, there'd just music be playing. Just not the even best... for speakers, just out of the air would be. <laughs> <laughs> That's the arches, if you don't. Know. But anyway, yeah, um, we had uh, we left the door open because we had like a little tea room inside one of the classrooms. We say tea room. It wasn't a tea room. It was actually was it a, glorified, a, it was a prep room where we glorified was, cupboard. Glorified cupboard where we all went and had tea, um, except for me because I don't drink tea. But um, <laughs> we had we went out one day and there was this fucking. Oh, we were in the cupboard having a drink whilst everyone <laughs> out playing. And then, <laughs> that description. We're in the cupboard having a drink. So you got moonshine. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't. But the lady that was there before me, she was actually an alcoholic and had beer cans in the in the cupboard. Um, apparently, I you don't better know. put them in the bin. Maybe. Well, no, not if you're a teacher because the bins get emptied by people who are not you. Oh yeah, because they go, well, you know, so I'm going to be drinking on school premises and stuff. Oh, I was thinking of just all. chucking away the cans more than anything else. Going, yeah, I know. I'm keep them. <laughs> no, sh like yeah. some kind of beer can house. Well. well these are stories that I get told because nothing ever interesting ever happens when I was around. But um, apart from the story, I'm going to tell you about the peacocks. Um, yeah, they they she, she this this teacher used to whirl her way down the corridor, slamming against walls because she was pissed and um, like proper alky apparently. And she actually hid her beer can, so they the the, the rest of the science department apparently. Um, found a key to the locked filing cabinet where she put all her beer cans and counted them and they, they marked on her bottles of alcohol where they were <laughs> and they used to take a record of how much she fucking drunk within the week bloody hell it was just like and fired no no this um, is more fun <laughs> like, what she might have been a good teacher apart from that who knows uh, apparently not oh okay um, but she was an alcoholic. What did you expect? <laughs> alcoholic to be drunk on school premises. Um, they didn't get her fired, but apparently they got her damn close. Ooh. And if, you know, it can be tricky to get rid of teachers, at least in the old days. Yeah. But anyway, Peacock story. Uh, we came out of the cupboard and, um, we found this, in there. found this peacock in in the science classroom and <laughs> it displayed at us we saw this massive peacock out you know couldn't chase out the door because it was fucking horny and threatened and it was just like okay we're going to another class it was <laughs> it was bizarre and and of course they hump against the windows of your classroom oh that's nice and they go ah! constantly ah! 
And he's like, fucking shut up. I've known people like that. (laughs) (laughs) In my school, we just had seagulls. Massive seagulls. That decided to take over the entire roof of the building. Yeah, but you you lived in Wales, didn't you? Yeah. Surprisingly enough, near the coast. Is my guess from that, the seagulls. Can I can I also point out we used to have massive seagulls and I live as about as far from the coast as you can get. <laughs> massive seagulls. And um, uh, was it yeah? With the, these things colonised the entire roof of the building, and um, <laughs> well, the science department had kind of a weather station outside um, on one of the roofs, and they had to abandon it um, <laughs> because the seagulls were just attacking anyone who went to take measurements. That sounds about right. Fucking seagulls. They're worse than pigeons. Well, These yeah, because they're substantially fuck larger off. and have no fear. Yes. <laughs> I, I, mean, I once got chased by a pigeon, uh, not pigeon, by a seagull, for because I had a bag of chips. I just fucking abandoned yeah. the chips and ran. Well, the seagulls here didn't used to chase you. They'd just swoop down, take your entire thing of chips and fly off. They'd take the entire bag. Jesus Christ. Big They're, seagulls. You win. You win on seagulls. I'm, hats off. You win on seagulls. Um, anyway, we were playing a game. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, well, we, 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 we were talking whilst the game was going on. There's no one around here who's on the team. I have literally no idea where to find anyone who is. Try Madry. Jim. Yes. Oh, shit. Yeah, we have done. I, I, I clicked out of the screen. Fucking great. Just great. That means I came out here for nothing, but you get to have a conversation with Medri. I take one last look around the track before I head the way I came. What do I do now? I'm not going to find anything about Aaron if there's no one to ask. I walk back to my dorm down in the dumps. I'm so lost in all those troublesome thoughts that I don't even realize Anne to wet till it hits me. Literally, in this case... I gasp in surprise and stagger back though it doesn't feel like whoever I ran into budged an inch ah sorry takes a moment for my vision to stabilize how fucking hot what fast were you running if walking into someone fucks with your vision (laughs) it's it's because it's because her brain moves around a lot inside the cranium so it gets damaged (laughs) Like it. But the first big the first sign I see is a big blue number nine on this person's chest. Are they wearing a football jersey? Nope, just have a weird tattoo. Oh no. I am really not in the mood for whatever's coming. Yeah, the feeling's mutual. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I just think so when once you said big number nine, I thought literally taking up the entire front, not just as small as you can get them, really. Yeah, it's pointless having much. it on your shirt. So, but um, <laughs> is it too Ego early to what? say <laughs> we really need to stop a bumping into each other I like this? Cut gives me a cocky, lopsided smirk as he meets my eyes. Where were his eyes? Oh, I think we know. Yup, I'm definitely not in the mood for this. He's got no pupils, by the way. Hmm. Look at his eyes. He's got no pupils. He sort of does. No, he doesn't. It's just less highlighting. (laughs) (laughs) Bye, Madre. Sorry about it. So he plays that well and he's blind. That's actually quite impressive. Yeah, well. Yeah, it's good on him, I suppose. Explains his fashion sense as well, I guess. uh, I ignore cats. What what explains hers, then? uh, Concussion. Mm. (laughs) Constant. Oh, fuck. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> Speaking of con- oh, fucking out, I I nearly got myself concussed the other day. I was sitting that there's a climbing frame on the playground, and I was sitting down messing around with some kids. That sounds really way worse than it should do. <laughs> but I got tackled by two of the boys um, who were just messing around, knocked me back, smacked my head into a post, into the post, fucking wrecked for days. I've still got a massive bruise. So yeah, that's how I spend my days. Anyway, yeah. sorry. I just thought I'd share that massive concussion. I um, not go that far, massive. <laughs> it fucking hurt like a bitch. Yeah, I'm not saying it didn't. Just banging your head and concussion aren't the same thing. I know, but considering what my brain's like the past few days, 
It kind of echoes and bounces around as it's a... Yeah, it's a bit like Nicole's oh. sometimes. <laughs> Although I'm not sure Nicole's can actually reach the sides because she's got this tiny little brainstem. She's basically got pee on a cocktail stick. That's what she's got. And to be honest, and that is quite a difficult uh, feat to do as well. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Have you ever tried peeing on a pregnancy test? Strangely enough, no. Neither have I. I don't think people would appreciate it if I just burst into the ladies <laughs> and I'm on their sticks. <laughs> Wonder what it is. You'll never know. Stop Ooh. following me. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep doing this? Because I'm an arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> it's even worse if you're peeing on cocktail sticks. Especially if they've got the little sausages on them. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to stop. Um, I ignore cats waggling eyebrows and just walk right past them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Grave. Wait a second. I I hear Kurt oh, Go on. Good. <laughs> I think she might have just turned round. Well, he vanished. <laughs> or maybe she just closed her eyes. <laughs> go away. <laughs> I hear Kurt clumping after me and I'm not sure if I should stop or what, so I just keep going. But I do slow... Why? Why? You don't like him. We've established this many times. <laughs> He's not a nice person. You hate his guts. This woman could be such a doormat. It's, it's just, just like... <laughs> no, you don't like him. Tell him to piss off. Yeah. You know? Can I just say, anybody who doesn't like someone, if they keep harassing you, tell them to fuck right off. Fine. But I do slow down enough for him to catch up. At least let me walk you to the library. The library? For a whole tutor uh, tutoring deal. Wasn't that why you came by the football field? Uh, I wasn't ditching you, honest. Practice just ended a lot later than I was expecting. I stop where I am and finally notice that, wow, way to go, Nicole. You've been near the football field for the last few minutes now. Must have my weight bait back here from the track. Ugh. Yeah. Wait, I was supposed to tutor you today? I look at Kurt and he looks at me and the most smug look appears on his face as he realizes he's the one who remembered and I'm the one who forgot. Don't. Don't you say it. You completely forgot. About it. Kurt slaps his hand to his forehead and he starts laughing. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> that can't be anything worse than that. The sound of Kurt being right and me being wrong. Ugh. I could have skipped today and you wouldn't uh, and you never would have realized. Damn, just my luck. Oh, just can it okay? I groan into my hands, too embarrassed for like, why? Fucking, uh. <laughs> I, I just, I don't get it. I don't, I don't even have my econ textbook with me. Oh, it's just, just, it's mean they have to go back to her place. Oh no. Well, I have mine. We can share it. And the book. Ho, ho, ho. <sighs> Kurt's voice gets softer at the side of me and I don't know if I should be upset that I've reached a point where even he has to pity me or what. At least it stopped us laughter. Something up with you. Forgetting things like this never seemed like your style. I let a long sigh before I pull my hands down. Probably smudge my makeup, but I hardly care right now. I'm just stressed out. Sorry, I didn't mean to forget about our tutoring session. I ought to shout at you. It's cool, Grave. Tell you what, we can take a rain check if you're not filling up to this. Zip. I point to that. <laughs> Who <laughs> put that expression on their face as well? Yeah. <laughs> it's true. And your dreams. I'm not the one who's getting the most out of this, Madri. I can't go easy on you because I'm having an off day. No, but, but you know, the way you're being stalked, maybe. Um, yeah. It's, you know, you, you'd think it'd give us some leeway. Call the police. Call the police. <laughs> <laughs> Trademark. Call the police. Uh, Kurt chuckles and flushes me a thumbs up. There we go. That's the grave, I remember. I blink a few times. Did he really just cheer me up without trying? Ew, what's with this development? 
So, if you weren't out here for the Meiji, oh. then what were you doing? This isn't your usual turf, unless you're hanging out with that hot roommate of yours. Is there any girl you don't find attractive? I hold up a fan before he can start. Don't answer that. And that's and for why I was out here. I try to think of a, a way to sidestep his question, but I can't think of anything that doesn't sound like an obvious lie. I guess I can tell him part of the truth, at least. I'm sure at least you've heard about those disappearances that happen, right? Pfft, who hasn't? I never pegged you as the kind of girl who was interested in it, though. <laughs> that yeah. pfft, you sounded like you were, you were violently exploding. <laughs> I can, can be curious about news things. I was trying to see if I could learn more about the girl, first girl who disappeared, Erin Sverson. Her article said she was on the track team, so I came here to try and talk to her teammates. Sigh. Here comes the embarrassing part. But I forgot that the track team won't start practicing until after fall semester. Ha! Classic mistake. You gotta read up on more sports stuff, Grave. Where's your school spirit? Fuck you. <laughs> I have school spirit, I just don't have athletic school spirit because that's not a thing. Unless you're like studying anatomy and shit for like a physio degree, that does isn't really part of school except for like clubs and stuff. So fuck you and the horse you rode in on. And I'm not going to do that, that again. <laughs> wow, that comeback was really lame. <laughs> or just fuck you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, even if you did get a hold of some of the track girls, like Kurt's probably been trying to do, yep. uh, I don't think they'd have too much to say about Erin. I don't think she had many friends. I th I'm guessing we can drop the M off that. What? don't think she had any friends. Yeah. He says that with enough suddenly to raise my hopes up. Still, I'm wary because so far all the boys that I know have had something to say about the disappeared girls. Just thought, how do you know about her? You're only a first year. She's female. That, that's <laughs> how he knows about her. He's Kirk. Yeah. Magnetically attracted to vaginas. Yeah. I've heard stuff from the older boys on the team all that. Besides, that Erin chick was kind of notorious for being a mega bitch. Oh, okay. I don't think she got along well with any of the other girls. Insisted on practicing by herself, <laughs> seeing the others brought her down. Sure, she was a hella fast runner, but her attitude stank. I heard her roommate couldn't even stand her last year and avoided their room as much as possible. Wow, literally no one could stand her. Literally, no one, heh, just goes to show that even if you got the skills, it takes more to be a true icon. Like you, maybe? Take me, for instance, <laughs> if we all not. Um, it's that major magnetism that's got everyone hooked. Now, as to where you won't go away, it's just you won't leave <laughs> so everyone knows who you are because you just don't leave. Just let it go, Nicole. He wants a retort. Don't feed the trolls. No, just hit him with a stick. Do you yeah. know if she practiced by herself very often? Don't got a clue, but it sounds like she did. It worked better for everyone of that way. Erin got everyone to stay out of her way, and everyone else was spared her wrath. A total win-win. I heard the park was her usual training spot. She ran through that place non-stop, all day, all night. And well enough, that was where she showed up again. Maybe the abductor did that on purpose. It didn't make sense what they gave them back, them back put them back where he found them in the first place. Yeah, I suppose so. You sound way too interested to be just curious about these disappearances, you know. Mm, no, she doesn't. She sounds like the, the perfect amount of curious for someone who's not going to the police. <laughs> I snap uh, back to reality and see Kurt sneering at me from the side. That's, mm. Side sneer. Mm, yeah. so he, he turned his head really quickly, his face stayed there. Mm. <laughs> yeah. 
don't tell me you're one of those weirdos who get into all strange phenomena and junk. It's not paranormal. It's, it's, a not... Du- <laughs> it's, it's kidnapping. Not a, not a hell for it. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, so spooky. Somebody got kidnapped and got put back. Woo. Oh, it's all paranormal because someone was possibly molested. That's that's, that's not the same thing. It's It's just... It's it's like... Oh, God. God. (laughs) (laughs) Where do you start explaining the difference to that, apart from everything? (laughs) I don't know. I really am only curious. It's not that weird, you jerk. I think I was actually going to thank you for the all the info you gave me. Kurt takes my insults in stride and quickens his pace so he's up front. He turns around facing me and walks backwards. Trip oh, him up, trip him up, trip him up. Kick him, kick him, kick him. Stab him with a knife. Stab him with a knife. If you want to thank me, make sure to teach me enough to ace that next exam. Can you, have give me... class? <laughs> Can you give me something easier to do? Stick my tongue out at him before I hurry to match his pace. Without missing a beat, Kurt spins on his foot so he's facing forward again. Well, you can always do... No! (laughs) (laughs) Nope. I I hate that this has me and Nicole on the same page. Yeah. I love the look of Kurt's crestfallen face and shove him on my shoulder. I know I complain about him, but he's a nice guy deep down. Really deep down. Yeah, really. Just kind of... In a chest locked at the bottom yeah. of the ocean. Guarded by orcs. Yeah. Orcs in scuba gear, presumably. <laughs> Maybe deep... Oh, fuck, we're on the same page as that. Maybe deep, deep down is more like it. And either case, I better remember all this stuff he told me about Aaron. Kind of weird how he knew all that, but I guess even Kurt's got to know something. Well, someone within the athletics... Um, various athletics teams was kidnapped. He'd probably hear about it. Yeah. Just, just saying. Anyway, I think we've had enough of our life stories for now. Oh, thank God we can go. I mean, oh, yeah, dear. It's, it's, it's terrible. Oh, oh, it's, um, anyway, bye. Bye.